Well, here we are. It's about damn time. I honestly thought I'd never get a Boneworks video out. Also, hello everyone and welcome back to another Layer by Layer. So as I mentioned in the recording before, it took four takes to record this video before it was presentable to all of you beautiful people. And let's just run through what went wrong with each of them. So, I'm I hate record I hate the square recording that I have to do for the Oculus Quest. And I uh, honestly 6 years of YouTube has, still has not taught me the proper way to record video games and stuff. I'm sure it's in like capture card or something, but you know, I don't own one of those. So, I've just always been going with like OBS screen record or whatever comes with the base system. Which is why I've never done any Switch or Nintendo games. That being said, I was looking up ways to record in rectangular format for VR. Just because it would just make the video look better overall. And one of the ways I came up with was casting to your screen and then recording off of Chrome. Not Chrome. OBS. So you link it to the, web page, the Oculus webpage on Chrome. And then you set up OBS to record that Chrome screen and it's supposed to record in rectangular. I'm like, oh, okay, that sounds cool. Definitely something the Quest is more than capable of. Sarcasm is obvious. And so I did that, and it the game crashed. And so I tried it, but n nothing else worked. So I tried again, same day. This time, I messed up the complex series of events you need to start recording on the quest and the game had no sound. I don't know what happened but the way I recorded it the main HUD of the quest had sound so like your little lobby area but the actual game had nothing. And I'm like okay great fine whatever. Third time around I just wasn't happy with it. I was going through it I was trying to hit all the same points from the other two recordings just because I thought they'd be funny and stuff and I, I left out some parts because I'm just like I, I just want to get through this at this point and if I put it I didn't even watch it back but while recording it I knew like my heart is not in it this time so I scrapped it just put Boneworks to the side for a little bit so many of the things I was trying to record that day failed so I'm just like okay we're calling it quits for a couple days. Uh, we'll record a video about the Terminator video being surpassed because, as you all know, when I skip a week of videos, I skip several months of YouTube. And so I recorded that just to have something and, you know, kind of celebrate because I don't hate the Terminator video, but, like, that being my most viewed always rubbed me the wrong way. Not rubbed me the wrong way, but I'm like, really? I do so much better stuff than that in the last five years. So I recorded something about that because I thought it was a big accomplishment. And then the other week I had more time to record. So I'm like, all right, let's try this again. And I did rigorous, rigorous testing. Made sure the camera was recording. Made sure the game could handle being recorded. Make sure the game audio was being recorded. I had a checklist. And I ran through that like Santa checks his naughty or nice list. Except I forgot to reset my game progress. And when you reset the game progress in Bone Lab, you get booted from the game altogether. So I did that. And I went through that checklist again. Because I knew that if I just blindly assumed I was doing all the right steps again something would go wrong and I could not record it a fifth time so I ran through that list again like Santa I checked it once I checked it twice I checked it a third time and everything worked out well except for the new element I added in that of the lavalier mic recently I got phone compatible Bluetooth lob mics. The adapter, or whatever you want to call it, goes into the phone charging port and the mic clips onto your shirt. 
I have never used a lavalier before. And I didn't really test it in a accurate way, that of me playing a video game. And so there were many instances where the audio was kind of clipping, and then times I was just straight up screaming. I tried to fix it the best I can, but even Audition was like, it's gone. Actually, Audition didn't even recognize any of the audio as clipped, so I had to do it all manually. And, uh, well, I only know so much about audio, despite doing radio for the last three years of my life. It's really weird how what I pick up on and what I don't. But, yeah. That was, and that's just the recording process. The game itself, I absolutely love. Boneworks is really fun, and you know that means something, because I just played through that intro bit four times. I read the same lore bits four times. And each time it was still like, other than the fact that it wasn't working and I had to redo it, playing the actual game was amazing. I, I still can't believe that I had jokingly tried to throw a key into a lock and it went through the gate slats. Obviously it was force grab, so I wasn't completely in a hole, but there was a split second I'm like, oh no, how do I get that back? <laughs> and I'm so glad I decided to stop recording a bit further down than I did the previous three times, because I didn't realize how little time was left between when I had stopped those original videos to the next save point. So I, I saw the next step of the game that I didn't see the previous three times, and now I'm really excited to get back into Boneworks and check out, I guess, mini games or whatever they are. And I, I want to see how they relate to the story. Because I tried that zombie hunting one, or the zombie survival one, at the end of this video. And I just, I didn't read the directions, I had no idea what the hell was going on. So I, I'd love to take a closer look at all of those and see what's happening. So despite all the bad things going on, the thumbnail too I absolutely love because when I was editing the video I just happened to pause on a frame of the skeleton lunging at the camera and I'm like, yeah that's thumbnail material. And then I'm like, how do I make this not just a screenshot? And then I'm like, I, I, gotta, I gotta put it in a chokehold. And so as you saw in the beginning of this video I set up an OBS screen with the screenshot overlaid so I can get the positioning and the angling right. But because of that, the OBS footage was not usable because through recording there would have been a giant skeleton in the screen. So I'd also set up my phone directly beneath my webcam, also recording, so I can take that footage for the thumbnail. And maybe there's an easier way to do that within OBS, but I just couldn't figure it out in time. Overall, the good things about this entire journey were a lot of fun to do, and, you know, the downsides were just an undesired bonus. I hope you enjoyed the video, and I hope you enjoyed the thumbnail. I'll see you in whatever comes out next, and hope you all have a good day.